finally episode 3. Time for the battle between Omnimon and Argomon, hopefully. If you've been watching since episode 1, then guess what? It would be cool if this series has the gang facing new and dangerous mega level Digimon. I'd be okay with that. Man, Argumon looks super freaky. Definitely. And here we are with those two on Omnimon's shoulders. This is still very much just like the movie. <laughs> Definitely. And then Argumon kind of looks like he merges with the area they're in. And all those eyes pop up, which again is very much like the movie. Like when they're shooting lasers, like this bit. And this bit. Anyway, obviously the good guys win uh, with that last stab. At least they beat Argonon. But the missile, the missile is still going to hit Tokyo. In turn, Omnimon uh, does some hacking of his own. That's right, apparently this constitutes as hacking. <laughs> Oh man. But hey, it works and they save Tokyo. Although I have no idea what the fuck is going on here. This like weird thing that envelops the explosion. Maybe Omnimon's powers have like passed over to the real world and he's stopping the explosion from killing everybody. I, I, I don't know. I think we have to assume that. Right here we uh, we find out that Ishii originally came over to talk about the upcoming camping trip. Aha. Uh -huh. The camping trip that in the original Digimon Adventure is where the gang, the heroes, all got transported to the digital world. Maybe that will happen again? Who knows? And then we have Hikari. Seems like she knows what Tai Chi has done in like saving the world because she thanks him even though she shouldn't know. Uh -huh, foreshadowing. Because as we all know, Hikari in the original Digimon Adventure is one of the Digidespins. And we see Matt, and Matt appears to be in what looks like his grandma's house, uh, which is where he was in the movie. <laughs> yep, yep, it's another reference to the movie. And he's checking in on his little brother TK, who is also a Diddy Despond. And then next scene, everybody is at the camp, just like the start of the original anime. Are they all going to get sent to the digital world? Probably. Uh-oh, here's Sora. And uh-oh, she has a different hat. Mm. She was very attached to her hat that she had in the original. Oh no, this might ruin the series. Oh no, another eyeball. <gasps> what could that be? Is Argumon still alive? Or could it be another Digimon? Hmm, I guess we'll find out. And then we get a the shadow of a feather falling down behind Hikari as Taichi leaves her. A feather, as in a feather from Angie Woman? Like, just more and more foreshadowing. Ridiculous levels of foreshadowing right here. Ah, Jesus. And hey, they actually, they do get sucked into, sucked into, they do get transported to the digital world. And it looks different to what we're used to so far. It's actually a fantasy like digital world, just like the original. Yeah. The world we saw before like the kind of cyberscape. I guess that is our world's network, i.e. the internet, and the digital world is its own place, separate to that. So basically, they've just given us the movie Children's War Game before the series. So we've had the movie, and now it's going into the traditional story of Digimon Adventure, I guess. So perhaps for the rest of this season, um, the good guys will actually be saving the digital world instead of the human world. And hey, maybe maybe we'll get Devimon? Pretty, pretty please? Well, either way, next episode, it looks like we're going to have a bit of action that should hopefully shed some light on exactly where this series is going from this point on. Keep an eye out for any black gears though, because that's a sure sign that Devimon is coming. I am, like, again, worried whether they're going to keep with Mega Digimon coming in because they kind of need to since that's how they started the series. 
if they're just dealing with champion level Digimon, it really kind of sucks the wind out of their sails, you know? It'd be a bit, a bit of a dampener, a bit of a disappointment. But we'll see. Anyway, until next time.